How's it going everyone? I'm your buddy Baron. Today, we have a lesson in humility. And that is, if you've never done a particular sport before, don't go around telling the pros that they suck. It's not a good look for you. Because you may one day have to actually eat those words, or in this case, have them force fed to you. Our example today is a Twitter troll who called out a professional boxer and got his ass professionally handed to him. Seriously looked like a toddler fighting a chimpanzee, but with less testicular mutilation. Seriously. Chimps are savages. In any case, we're gonna break down this match. So if you enjoy the video today, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's go. How was your first ever round in the ring with the world champion? I need to vomit. Yeah, I'll bet you do. In fact, I'll bet your liver is knocking at the door of your esophagus right now. This world champion boxer beats up a Twitter troll who traveled across the country to challenge him. I beg your pardon, ma'am. I think you meant to say who traveled across the country to find out what it's like to have his eyes swollen shut. Challenge gives this man just a wee bit too much credit. But hey, I mean, he did show up. That's worth something. I have to say, I have to respect you for turning up because uh, I see a lot of Twitter trolls. A lot of people say a lot of things, but they don't turn up. I'm actually shocked that you've turned up. So what, what, what actually made you turn up? I don't know. Is the He's knocking time. Sonny out. The dream is to make him sit one time in full round. Hey, even he acknowledges it. We're, we're surprised you came, bro. But you showed up with your goal being to knock him down once in four rounds. One can only imagine the poop talking that was going on behind the screen. But now that he's here and sees that this is real, he's setting his goals a little bit lower. How many two trolls does he have that say all sorts, but they don't show up? Yeah, I know. To be fair, I thought it was a black at first, but look, we're in now. I'm about to get in the ring. I love how excited our champ is. After all, he does get to teach our troll two very important lessons today. Number one is why you keep your hands up in the middle of a fight. And number two, if you're gonna run your mouth, be very good at what you're talking about. Or be very fast. How many rounds do you want? Four? Four, three? We'll see. We'll see. Standard tough guy comeback. If you knock your mom at that fight in October's off. Mate, if he knocks him out, the fight in October's off. Then proceeds to turn his intestines inside out. <laughs> That's gotta be a new form of harassment right there. I've never seen a guy smack his own gloves in an effort to intimidate his opponent. I think I'm gonna take that. That's one round, three more, yeah? Three more. How was your first ever round in the ring with the world champion? <laughs> He's fast. I'm sorry, come again? Did you imagine that a championship boxer was slow? Or slower than you? Guy who's never boxed before? Clearly. Did he even know what a boxer was? Like, did he Google search boxer before he actually stepped into this and committed to traveling across the country to get his butt handed to him? He probably thought boxer was a title over at FedEx. Bro is winning this whole round by cutting angles. This is the boxing equivalent of John Cena's You Can't See Me. That punch had more warning lights on it than the back end of a school bus. The pro was clearly playing around with him there and it that must have hurt the trolls Itty bitty ego. Problem is, he forgot how well the first round went and thought that he would just magically do better. He did say he wanted to drop him once, but I think the opportunity has passed now. No? Finished? No. No? Oh. Props to him. He still wants to go. How are you feeling now? I need to vomit. Saved by the bell doesn't describe this well enough. It's more like that bell is Superman and our troll is Lois Lane, getting beat down by Darkseid. I'm not a bully, I think anyone that watched that, no I didn't take the out of him. Gave him a one shot or two just to let him know the difference between a normal human being and someone that's a trained athlete. Okay. Man's got beautiful punches and a wonderful way with words. He's dead on the money though. Absolutely not being a bully in this situation. He got called out, the guy came in, he played around with him and showed him a little bit of what reality is. In other words, taught him some humility. But he done very well. 
you just probably got a sore rib, maybe a slightly swollen face, and a long journey home back to London. He's so kind. That's the worst part about this. The pro is, you, you, you would think for someone to hate on you so bad that you're kind of a butthole in your own sense, but he's just such a, a sweet man, just in the way he's talking. Have you, have you got some more respect for Sonny Edwards now? He's first. No sh I'm gonna go back to the point of him thinking that a boxer is something that you can like work up to and be promoted to inside an Amazon warehouse. He's first. Big respect. I can understand why he's the world champion now. Eh, what can you say? Some people can learn from watching, and others, like our Twitter troll, have to learn by first-hand experience. In any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. So if you did, like I said in the beginning, leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe for more. You can even hit that bell to let you know when I'm gonna post new videos, or when new videos have been posted to the channel. If you'd like to show your support, please click the link in the description down below to check out my merch store. And all the proceeds from your purchase go to my nonprofit Free MMA, where we teach everyone martial arts, or no cost. And as always, please remember to eat well, sleep well, train hard, and I'll catch y'all next time. Have a good day.